Hello, I'm Gaia Ferro, Energy Micro, a CEO. Can you tell me a bit about what kind of products that you're here showcasing at Electronica? Uh, yes, I can. We are. We started five years ago with a mission to make the world's most energy-friendly microcontrollers based on ARM Cortex uh, solutions. And three years ago, we we came to market. At that time, a completely unknown company. Today, we have customers, many customers all over the world, and we are the leading company on low-energy microcontrollers. So we are showcasing our big portfolio of uh, of uh, EFM32 microcontrollers, 240 part numbers in total, and we had the largest portfolio of low energy microcontrollers in the industry. Where do you plan to take the company from here? Where do you want to expand, especially in the European plans? Uh, worldwide. Uh, we have a great ambition for the company. Uh, 2020, our 2020 goal is to reach a billion dollar revenue, and, um, and our vision is to to remain as the technology leader on low energy microcontrollers and also next year we're coming to market with the extremely low power radio technology and, and having these two together is a great combination because uh, any any time you want to make small units that is uh, run out of a small battery uh, you need for them to be smart you need uh, an intelligence meaning a microcontroller and you need connectivity which is a radio communication device. Which industry segments do you aim to reach with your products? Uh, we care about customers who care about low power and we found those in many, many niches. Um, uh, some is uh, energy metering, water gas meters, electricity meters, where you connect all these meters to, uh, to uh, a common, uh, common base. Um, we found it in uh, home building automation, where you have uh, lots of actuators and sensors in your home. We found it in uh, health and fitness. For instance, you connect your pulse belt to, to your watch and uh, shoe pods. We found it in um, uh, anything you want to connect to your smartphone, uh, sensors, actuators that you can control from your, uh, your, your, your iPhone or Android phone. There aren't that many semiconductor companies in the Nordic region. Uh, what do you think is the, the future for, for the industry oh, semiconductor-wise in the Nordic region? Well, there aren't that many in Europe. Uh, most semiconductor companies in the world are either in the US or in uh, centralized around Taiwan. But there are, of course, you have the, the, some companies, in the old one, Infineon, ST and XP, that's been a, around for many, many years. Um, in the Nordic region, um, not so many anymore, but uh, in Norway there are a handful of companies that has been started uh, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Uh, Atmel, uh, Chipcon, which became TI, Nordic Semiconductor, and uh, five years ago Energy Micro uh, started and with, with people coming from all these companies. So Norway has, a, uh, has an interesting, built up an interesting competence that is globally very competitive on microcontrollers and radio technology. And lastly, this is of course uh, the very end of Electronica, one day to go. Uh, what is your impression from the fair so far? Surprisingly positive. We ha I, we had a, I had the busiest day ever on, uh, on a show uh, yesterday. There were so many people coming in. Also today it's a lot of people coming in. So I was a little unsure when we came because uh, with all this uh, recession uh, uh, talking in Europe, I was unsure how it would be, but there's been a lot of people coming. So it's been a great experience. Thank you. Thank you.